prehistoric time. Here's Flint. Petrofina, interdimensional time thief. We'll be back in the 25th century. All we have to do is collect and control all of the time shifters, and then the Dark Lord will have enough power to destroy the land of time. I can see the old timer's face now as we demolish his precious tapestry of history. <laughs> I love evil. I look evil, think evil, do evil, and most importantly, I dress evil. Move it, we're burning light rays. What do you mean? Take it back with us? Uh, hey boss, no offense, but we gotta stick with the plans. We gotta locate that time shifter and get out of here. We'll get that time shifter, don't you worry about it. I want that terrace on oh, the oh, you say. You're calling the shot! I thought we were on the ground! Ah! Oh. Oh. Boss, you're supposed to save that just for emergency. Gotcha. <laughs> Fossilized. Tag and bag him, boys. Then let's find that shifter. I'll use both eyes, okay? You can't escape us, Time Shifter. You might as well throw in your wings. No wow! <laughs> Don't just lay there. Get on! You guys are told. Uh, yeah, you asked oh, for it. You just got an appointment with Trump. 
trouble. You have one millisecond to move away or else. Huh? All right, cave boys, watch this. Whoa, nice shot. You're getting pretty good with that thing, boss. I'm not good, I'm perfect. Now get over there and bag that egg fossil. Where does it might go? <laughs> The volcano's about to blow! Oh, we should come back another time! Hurry up, Petra! I'm not leaving without that shifter! Get luck! Sorry, hate to lava and leave ya! <laughs> we'll defossilize that time shifter back in the 25th century! Go! Trust you all have your tools. Are you excited to start digging? Yes, Miss I know. This is a prime location to find fossils, but you must be patient. Any questions? Um, I have a question, Miss I know. Sarah Goodman, of course you do. What makes this place so great for finding fossils? Well, if you remember, a volcano erupted here, and lava's a superb natural preservative. So these fossils have been buried for centuries. That time shifter's here somewhere, and these runts are going to find it for me. Oh, yes. If anyone finds an egg-shaped fossil, stop digging and call me right away. Okay, now, are there any more questions? No. no. I think it's a big waste of time. We'll never find fossils. Well, at least try. It's a privilege to go on an archaeological dig, but anybody who'd prefer to whine can wait on the bus, understand? Yes, yes Miss Sino. All right, class, start digging. This isn't so bad after all. I'll dig up a fossil and get an A. Is that all you care about, your grade? You said it. I just can't believe you and I are twins. We think so differently about everything. Well, why are you digging for fossils? We might uncover a mystery. What if we find a fossil that's been buried for hundreds and thousands of years? It'll probably stink. No, it won't. If you want mystery, I know just the thing to do. Get good grades and join the time police. That's exciting. Look out into the sky. Just imagine traveling through time and space to capture criminals. I can see it. Tony Goodman, number one time detective and time crime buster. Fossils? I can go back in time and see the real thing. Hmm. I never knew you were so passionate about joining the time police. That's great. You're growing up fast, little brother. You're not that much older than me. I'm 327 seconds older. And don't you forget about I it. I hope you're discussing archaeology. Huh? You can argue on the bus, or you could put some muscle into it. Yes, yes Miss, Miss I know. know. Look at them, so innocent, so unsuspecting, so not me. Miss I know is a perfect disguise for Petrofina interdimensional time thief. Beauty is skin deep, but evil is to the bone. <laughs> oh, wow. Huh? What is it? What have you found? Is it egg shape? I know it is an egg shape, but it's a fossil, isn't it? <sighs> not even close. Keep digging. This is beginning to get boring. We've been digging for over an hour, not one fossil. What is that? Maybe it's a fossil. <laughs> it looks like a pineapple, but I'm sure it's a fossil. <laughs> oh. oh. Hmm? <laughs> Hi there, little guy. Mm -hmm. Looks like you want to be friends. Cool, look at this. Huh? It's shaped like an A. I bet I'll get an A plus for this one. Time police, here I come. I found one too, and mine talks. Stop, stop. What if we take him to the bureau first? Now we're thinking like twins. Miss Ino isn't going to be happy about not getting her fossils. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll get them after Uncle Bernie sees them. Whatever. <sighs> I better go tell Petra. She's not gonna like this. Uncle Bernie, wake up! Yeah, we got something to show you. He was working on an experiment for three days straight. He's so tired, look at him. Dr. Goodman, there's company! He's a deep sleeper. Watch this. 
What gases does air consist of? 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1% argon. Sorry to wake you, Uncle Bernie, but we need help. Mm, oh, that's okay, Sarah. It's about time I got up anyway. Hey, what do you got there? A talking fossil, I think. I heard a voice inside. A talking fossil? That's amazing! Analyze it! Analyze it, Doc! Maybe you can analyze this egg shape one, too. Sure, why not? After all, I am a scientist. Let's experiment. It'll be fun. Let's take a look. Here we go! Here comes the data! Whoopee! That's strange. I detect the beating of two hearts in Sarah's fossil. From our existing data, one would deduce that the hearts are of human origin. Way cool! And what's in my fossil? There's a life form in that one, too. But I'm unfamiliar with it. Can you revive the fossils, Uncle? I hope so. This is an outrage! Are you sure it was egg-shaped? Yeah, it was oval. I need that fossil back. Can you handle it? Who do you call? Dynamite! Divided by E equals MC squared to the fifth power and... Ah, here comes the formula now. Interesting. According to my calculations, we'll be able to shift atoms to their original form. Now watch. I can't wait to meet you. Didn't work. I won't give up. Starlight, star bright, the first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. I wish my uncle could revive the fossils to their human form so they can appreciate life on Earth. And I hope that we can become great friends. Oh, finally! This is what makes being the old-timer worthwhile. That young lady has a good heart. And goodness always deserves a favor! Uh, I may be stuck here guarding the land of time, but that doesn't mean I can't help things along every now and then. I'll just lock in the coordinates and... Ugh, these newfangled machines are, are so hard to use. I miss my old X-40. Ah, there we go. Magic time! the fossils. They sure are strange looking. I'm not a fossil anymore. <laughs> Speaks English. Whoa. Dr. Goodman's formula included language data. It's rudimentary, but understandable. Where's my dad? Hey, what happened to my dad? Apparently, my formula only worked on you. I'm sorry, son. That rock is your dad. Uh, dad, come on! <laughs> What's gonna happen? Is his dad gonna be a rock forever? Yep. That's science. <laughs> Sarah, do something before the building caves in! Quiet now. There. I know you're upset. You're welcome to be part of our family, so don't be so sad. Who said anything about sad? Huh? Son, it's me, Dad! I'm in here! What's with the long face? Cheer up! I'm still your dad, and if I have to stay like this, I'll love you like a rock! I love you, Dad! All right, son, let's do this later. I just had a superb idea. I'll transform your dad into something a little more accessible. Hi, my name is Flynn. <laughs> and my dad's name is Rocky Hammerhead. Perfect! Sheer <laughs> genius! I transformed your dad into the fossil beam stone axe. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! I feel bolder than ever. Try the fossil beam. It's a gas. The blue one. <laughs> He's a statue. Looks more like a fossil to me. Doc made a fossil beam using your dad's fossil energy. Push the blue button and it reverses. Cool! Why'd you tell him about the fossil beam? I wasn't ready! Wow, my dad's the greatest! Hello there! Hi, Uncle Bernie? What is this thing anyway? Hmm. 
I haven't seen one before, but my guess would be that little flyer's a shifter. A real time shifter? What do time shifters do? Well, they have the ability to travel through time. And they all have magical powers, each one different. Naturally, time criminals try to capture and misuse them. So you think they'll come after her? <laughs> My name's Fedalong. <laughs> ah, she's safe as punch with us. Hand <gasps> over the time shifter. <gasps> now, give me that time shifter and I might spare you all. I think that's Petrofina, the interdimensional time thief. Go away! We're not giving our time shifter to a criminal like you. If we were back in class, I'd flunk her just for being perky. All righty, boys. Let's show these punks what time criminals are made of. What are we made of? Hi, Shop Dino. Activate! Oh. Somebody oh. help us! Huh? Now I remember. We just got an appointment with trouble. All right, K-Boys, watch this. Just think, you're next. You'll like being a fossil. You keep away from the time shifter. Courage, attaboy. I guess. Oh, what's going on? Did we eject? How did we go? We're stuck here. Our ejection seats are damaged. The catamaran's about to blast back through time. You saved us, Flint. We would have been gopher bait without you. Mr. Hammerhead was great, too. No, oh, it was nothing. Their fossil elements combine to make a superpower. I'd really like to do more research on them. How'd you like to live here with me, buddy? Sure, but do I get my own cave? I'll see what I can rig up. Raising a prehistoric boy in a modern era. That's science. Amazing. Flint has just the kind of powers we need to reunite all the time shifters and fend off Petrafina. He needs a little grooming, but I think Sarah and the others can take care of that. Yes, I'll just put the idea into the brain of the director of the time police via my synchro synapse suggester. For the very first time, I'm appointing a time detective who hasn't passed our history exam. His name is Flint Hammerhead. He and his father, Rocky Hammerhead, were defossilized from prehistoric times. The process left Flint with superhuman abilities, abilities unequaled by any detective here at the Time Police. Flint is staying with Dr. Goodman for the time being, and he's ready for his first mission. So send him a time card the moment you locate another time shifter. Be well, Commander Gray. I will see to it right away, Director. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> And that's my new time cycle. I'm very proud of it. Just as you should be proud to carry this booklet. Hmm. This is your remote control. It signals the time cycle. You wear it around your waist. <laughs> that tickles. They made him a time detective, and he didn't even pass the time police history exam. You're looking at a history exam. I'm still jealous. Just look at that time cycle. It's awesome. Hey, but we're the ones who rescued Flint. We should get a reward or something. Hmm. All we're gonna get is lifetime detention from Miss Ino. Huh? This looks yummy. Oh yeah! Flint, you don't get that. Guy, you're gonna wreck all your teeth. That Flint's got a lot to learn, but I'm certain he'll make a crackerjack time detective. Personal computer entry from Dr. Bernard Goodman, head scientist, Bureau of Time and Space Investigations. In addition to my niece, Sarah, and my nephew, Tony, the lab has a new charge named Flint Hammerhead. The twins have been helping this Stone Age boy acclimatize to his new surroundings. 
Flint learns quickly to a sense of fun and natural curiosity, and his disposition is unusually positive. All in all, he already feels like a part of the family.